tell you what, it's a long time I've been waiting to get hold of you. Dion, can we just let the viewers know how long I've been in your DMs? For the right reasons, obviously, to get this conversation done. About two years, probably. And there was a few things he said in some interviews, like three, four years back, saying how, I don't know, posh boy, he'll knock me out. Blah, blah, blah. There's a few out there. I won't mention their names. I, I personally regard them as more Instagram fighters than actual fighters. They're more in, interested in uh, protecting their social media profile and their O. After, after a few operations and I injury having, having healed, the British Boxing Board still wouldn't give me my license. We had to get a solicitor in place. To this is where Dion wants his career to go. He wants to better himself and, and walk away at the end of the day with the titles and say, yeah, I gave it my best. But, as I said, this, all, this whole experience has held me in good stead. I'm hungrier than ever. I'm ready. I am ready. Richard is in for it on the 26th. Because if you've been through your dark waters as well, so has Richard previously in his life, I think both of you, both of you are able to go to that dark level. And that's why I think it's going to be such a spectacular fight. And no disrespect to the previous opponents, but I'm one of these that believes that everything for a reason and nothing before it's time. How is he going to win? I'm going to stop him late. Doesn't matter what Gary says. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to stop him late. Yeah, yeah. Good. We're going to have a double act. And I'm going to get in the middle because I, I want to do this. Can you can you just can you make sure that we're all together? We might have to get in close because I haven't got um I haven't got a wide angle lens. Oh, okay. Are we are we together? Yeah, we're good. I'm sweaty. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. And is the red light on? Yes. Thank you. All in the middle. Oh, October Red Boxing here with the Ghost and his trainer, Mr. Shogun, <laughs> Gary. I'm like, Star Wars, it's a long time since I heard that name. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's a long time I've been waiting to get hold of you. Dion, can we just let the viewers know how long I've been in your DMs? For the right reasons, obviously, to get this conversation done. About two years, probably. About two years. We've arranged many interviews, just haven't happened a day. I'm elusive, aren't I? Elusive, like a ghost. The name fits you well, yeah. but we're going to fast forward because we're here now. Mm. And what a card to be on. It all started Dion Juma versus Mikhail Lowell. Injuries, people dropping out. And then here we go. You're the main, <laughs> you and React Paul, main line of the card. Meant to be. Just meant to be. How long you been after him? About three years. About three years. Been the fights being mentioned. There was a few things he said in some interviews, like three, four years back, saying how, I don't know, posh boy, he'll knock me out. Blah blah blah. So um, I called him out on it. Said like, let's fight, and it didn't happen. But it's happening on the 26th of March. I'm going to move over to the coach as yeah. he as he smiles. Yeah. You will know the long history of this as you've been with Dion yeah. from day one. Yeah, I mean, with all of them, Dion, when Dion came back, he sat me down and said, Gary, I want to make a comeback. And he said, I want to fight them all, you know, and you, you've got to respect somebody like that. There's, there's, you know, there's a few out there. I won't mention their names. I, I personally regard them as more Instagram fighters than actual fighters. They're more in, interested in uh, protecting their social media profile and their O or whatever. And um, Dion's not about that. He's about fighting the best just to see who is the best. Do you know what I mean? He's a warrior and that's what warriors do and um, you've got to love and respect that. And we talk about warrior, you've not one that hasn't had his trials and tribulations in boxing. We've spoke many times about stuff that you've been through. Uh, obviously you're through that now, mm -hmm. but there was all the medical stuff. Mm -hmm. let, let the viewers know a little bit about that and what it's taken to get from where you were to where you are now. So we had a eye injury that put us out of the game for a year after, after a few operations and I injury having having healed the British Boxing Board still wouldn't give me my license we had to get 
a solicitor in place to deal with the matter and it took a year after that. So we've been fighting to fight. So every day has been a fight. That's why I'm not wor worried about ring rust, because <laughs> we've been fighting. And it's that attitude and that mindset that's got you where you are today. Everything is about timing. But what kind of mental strength did it take for you to push through all of those battles, including nearly a legal one, mm. to get where we are today, to get to this point? I didn't have a choice. I didn't have a choice. This is all I've ever wanted. This is... I put my life into this. Um, obviously, you have some bad days where you think like what is the point mm. what is the point I'm hurting myself I'm not progressing I'm hurting everyone around me like becoming a shit person do you know what I mean but there was no choice it was always going to come back to this like if in hindsight it was always going to come back to this what will be will be and I'm going to ask you coach how has it been like that? Because the coach, you know, coaches are more than just coaches. Yeah. They're family, mm. they're father figures, mm. they're the best friend. They're the people that you go to when you need that shoulder mm. to literally cry on. So how has it been for you as the coach to push Dion and say, you know what, we've got this, we're going to get through? Yeah, boxing is life. I always say to him, boxing is life and life is boxing. You know, the, the, the travails that we face in boxing, we face in life and we have to, talk, to always try and come up. We've got to be resilient enough to overcome it. You know, and if you have a little cry and you have a little backward step, there'll be days when Dion said to me, you know what, Gary, I don't really fancy But then a few months ago, he got a good job and he came to me and said to me, Gary, I'm going to give that job up because I'm getting civilised. And that told okay. me that he wanted to fight. That told me that he's still a fighter. You know, because when you're earning good money, as Marvin Agler said, it's hard to get up in the morning when you're wearing silk pyjamas. If you started earning good money, you're thinking, in such a tough industry like this, forget all the Instagram and social media glamour of boxing. Behind the scenes, it is truly a blood sport, a blood and sweat sport. And these guys give their lives to entertain folk that don't even know them. Do you know what I mean? And obviously to best themselves in life. And this is where Dion wants his career to go. He wants to better himself and, and walk away at the end of the day with the titles and say, yeah, I gave it my best. What I will say, Dion, is that he is a, 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 a through and through boxer. I know this is what he's wanted to do. Like I said, I've spoke to him several times online, asked how you've been getting on, and I, I could feel the frustration, you know, when you was like, the, you know, the medical side of it, you know, obviously you see in fighters that you believe that you can win, going through, progressing, pushing through, and it just feels like you've just been held there in cement and you can't get through it. So it's stagnant. like, yeah. Yeah, stagnant. But... As I said, this, all, this whole experience has held me in good stead. I'm hungrier than ever. I'm ready. I am ready. Richard is in for it on the 26th. We're going to have to see the best of Richard for him to survive. That war talk. I'm, I'm going to pass it over to you because I like the both of you. I am not going to stand here and say... It's an easy side to pick. Um, I am going to have wooden blisters all over my ass with this fight. I'll just keep it real. Yeah. Dion, I've spoken to for years. I've known you a lot longer, but obviously as I've been in the game, I've got yeah. to know Richard before. Mm. But what I will say is it's going to be a damn tough fight. Yeah. There, it's not going to be an easy fight for no, any of them. We were under no illusions when we took the fight. I'm under no illusions that should Dion fight any of the top cruiserweights in the country. They're not easy fights, but I just believe in my man. I just believe in what he's been through. I just believe in what he's learned, what we constantly discuss, what he believes in himself. Um, and it always comes out. It just always seems to come out on fight night. When he needed to dig in against Sam Hyde on away territory, he dug in for the last four rounds and gave us, him, both him and Sam gave us what I think was the fight of the year. You know, and he's just time and time again, this guy digs in. So, he's, you know, Richard's going to have to go, he's going to have to go, he's going to have to search deep within himself because I know my man's already done that. And we talk about that digging deep. This fight to me, is going to be more of a fight of the minds as well as that skill in the boxing mm. ring. Yeah. Because if you've been through your dark waters as well, so has Richard previously in his life, I think both of you, both of you are able to go to that dark level. And that's why I think it's going to be such a spectacular fight. And no disrespect to the previous opponents, mm. but I'm one of these that believes that everything for a reason and nothing before its time. This fight is a fight 
that should have happened before, but it doesn't matter because it's happening no. now. No, it doesn't matter. I feel like Richard must, Richard must feel like he's better, a better man now than he was then. And it's the same with me. Even with the two years out, I'm a better fighter now. I'm a better man now. I'm stronger. I'm faster. I'm better thinking in a hard place. I'm uh, more skilled. I know what to do. So I'm, I'm just looking forward to it. It's going to be a hell of a fight. I cannot wait for it. And I can, I can feel that energy. You want to go now. You don't want to wait to the 26. He would go now. If he said get it on in that ring, in that, pop, that media <laughs> workout, you'd be straight in there. Listen. Some guys, I truly believe, have that DNA in them to fight. Yeah. As I said, some guys, they love it. They want to build their fighters. And some of them, they use it for their identity. They, boxing is an identity thing, especially in modern day. Yeah. But this guy is it's, it's just cut from a different cloth. I know it's real. I know it's real. I think it's real. And I had 42 pro fights. And I can honestly say, I think it's real in what I had inside me. You know, And it, it's nice to help bring it out in him even more. Because I know that's what he needs to be successful in a really talented division. So, a betting man or not, obviously he's your fighter. Mm. You're going to back him to win. Mm -hmm. How is he going to win? I'm going to stop him late. <laughs> Doesn't matter what Gary says. <laughs> I'm going to stop him late. That's what's, hap that's what's happening. I'm like, I'm like, I, I defer to what he says. You know, if this is what he truly... Everything starts with a belief. You know, um, we might have to make adjustments during the fight, but if he says he's stopping him late, he's stopping him late. And there we have it. Listen, I'll be there fight week, so yeah. don't think this is the last time you're getting on October Red Boxing because I'll be following you around all fight week. Come down to VXR. Listen, down to yeah, VXR. I will do because Caleb's down there as well. Yeah, Caleb yeah, Bowen, yeah, I think yeah. he does some classes yeah, Caleb's down there. Caleb's over at more so, he's over at City. Oh, right. And um, at the one at Canary Wolf, but yeah. you know, we can sort of tie it up if you want. Yeah. Listen, I'm there. All the best. Yeah. And like I said, I'll have blisters in my ass, but I'm there. <laughs> Thank you. We'll do this again so, soon. Oh yeah, definitely. You broke the seal now. Yeah. You broke the seal, it's done. See you later. Hi, and thank you for watching October Red Boxing. Like, subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications. You can also find us on Instagram at October Red Boxing and on Twitter, October Red UK. And remember, at October Red, we stay ready.